Hi, this is Mark Evanstein with music.py, and this is a Python music short. So for today's Python music short, I thought I'd revisit the script from the first short and show you how to make it live and interactive. So that short was all about uh, sonifying a text, so looping through each character in the text and playing some notes accordingly. Um, and we basically do the same thing in today's, except uh, that we wrap it in a keyboard listener so that it responds to keyboard events. So uh, in Scamp, in order to get something kind of live responding to the keyboard, you have to create a function that gets called every time a key is pressed, and then register that function as a keyboard listener. So as usual, we'll import everything from the Scamp libraries, create a session object called s, ask the session to create a new piano part and store it in the variable piano. And then, so for this keyboard listener function, so we're defining a new function, keyboard listener, and that function is gonna be passed the key name and a key code. And so we're gonna focus on the key name itself here. And uh, actually to, to show you how this works, I'm gonna start by commenting out the function and replacing it with just a print call to key and code. Then we ask the session to register the keyboard listener and call s.waitforever to keep the, the script alive. And if we run it, then every time I press a key here, it prints out the name of the key and a key code associated with that key. The name of the key is not always one letter, so certain keys like shift and space, it actually says shift and space. So in order to get this to play some music live, we're gonna first check that the length of key is one to avoid any of these space or backspace. It's just not gonna make any sound when we play any of these special control keys. Then, and this should be familiar from the previous video, we check if the key is alphanumeric, and if so, we uh, convert the, the letter to a number and subtract 20 so it's not too high, and otherwise we just convert it straight to a number. The one other thing to notice is that these play note calls have a blocking equals false flag. Um, that makes it so that the note starts, but it doesn't wait for it to finish before exiting the keyboard listener. That's important because we don't want to hang up in the keyboard listener function because we want to be able to listen for more keyboard events. Okay, so let's try running it. If I start typing some text, you can start to hear that it makes some music. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in trying any of this for yourself, I've put links in the description. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, or have a long heartfelt conversation with a good friend.